Welcome to Monday Night's Tilton Talk Show, sponsored by Image Cleaning. A win, yes, a win. Not just a win, but a performance, and that's all we've been asking for. But there's no resting on your laurels. This has to continue. We simply cannot allow this great football club to descend into the lower leagues. International break now in Ipswich a week on Saturday. By the improvements that we've seen week on week since the introduction of Gary Monk and his backroom team, we should be playing like Barcelona come that game. Listen, let's still be real. We're still in the bottom three and there is no comfort in that fact. However, with players playing in their correct positions, there is no reason or excuse as to why these next three crucial games are not the ones that go on to save our season. Then, when the big cup boys come gunning, who knows? And let's wait and just see how this team can perform. Please, please continue to play like you did Saturday. Eight shots on target, three scored, Hotter and Adams back to their best. Well, as always, strap yourselves in, get ready for the ride on the world's one and only Tilton Talk Show. And a very good evening. Welcome to Monday Night's Talk and Talk Show with me, Mr. Fun, and of course, Mrs. Brown. Da, 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 da. How good does that feel? Feels pretty good, yeah. It's, a, it's an unusual feeling. Um, we haven't had many this season, have we? No, we haven't. But, um, no, uh, I'll I've, take already, it, I've already coerced four smiles out of your prick right <laughs> Yeah, the there's, there's been far too many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, mass- not massively yeah. happy about it. But, yeah. uh, great call here from Daniel Ryan. The Monk has blessed the players. Beautiful. Love it, Looks mate. Like Keep it, it up. Yeah. Keep it up. Um, Roy, okay, all you've got to do, as always, every single week, is share this on your personal Facebook stream to be in for a chance of winning some goodies next week. Right, okay, bam, one, two, three, nil, hey, in the snow. Can it snow every week? I know, yeah, <laughs> we're, we're a, few, a few of the people around me were saying that it must be the, must be the snow that t- uh, turns us into, into world beaters, but yeah. And thanks to Andrew Cave, he was going to uh, take a photograph of his multi pie, but he ate it before it froze in his mouth. <laughs> nice one, like that one. Like that one. Um, Monday night has not had a feeling like this for a very, very, very long time. I think, I think it's, you know, we listen. We've won games this week. Obviously, you know, we've won one. We're not, we're not miles we've away. Won one. <laughs> you know, and, and it is just one win. And yeah. like you say, yeah. there's, there's eight, eight cup finals to go still in, in effect, but. It's just the the manner of the performance, the manner of the victory, the you know everything everything we've been worried about this season, you know all all our frailties, you know we we, we banished them all really mm-hmm. on, on Monday night, and I think um, Saturday, sat, sorry yeah Saturday is Monday night now isn't it Saturday yeah um, and and you know just every, every every little thing we were worried about all the ridiculous things Cottrell said about. Oh, I was scared to play at home, and playing at home is da- you know it's, it's so difficult for the players. All of that nonsense, all of the worries about you know if we, if we go one nil up, can we hold on? Are we defensively solid enough? Have we got goals in us? All of that was mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For, in a ninety-minute performance, the best of the season which we've had so far. And, you know, we, we've had we've had better spells probably. You know, the second half at Cardiff. Um, to, to, to name one, but yes, yes, for yes. a ninety-minute all-round performance, I think that's the best I've seen this season. Mm. 
Right, OK, Robert Doyle, stop monkeying around and get on with the show. Um, <coughs> Very good. So we'll perhaps, do, we'll perhaps do some monk jokes in the last 15 I'm minutes. Sure, I'm sure show, we yeah. will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, we're the monk. He's oh, here. no, I'll tell you what, let's do them now. Let's do them now. Let's do them now. Let's not get into a bad habit. It's a bit early to monkey around, isn't it? Not into a bad habit. Bad habit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Is it nine o'clock yet? <laughs> we're not going down. <laughs> oh, oh. No. Um, great call from Andy Smith. Evening, gents. My boys finally got to see a win for the first time. Bitter cold, but worth it for them. Excellent. Really pleased for you, and so glad that. Um... It's that's what that's what that's what makes it, doesn't it? You yeah, know, very you, much so. You, you take your kids along, and they haven't had you know anyone who's gone hasn't had a lot to share this season. But mm -hmm. but that ninety minute performance, like I say, it had it had all the hallmarks of a team that 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 know what they're doing and they're ready to give this. Give this battle a good go. Hmm. Steve Merriman is flying in from New Zealand for the next four weeks. I hopefully see some good football. Brother lives out there, North Island, very mm, top very of the North nice. Island. Uh, Monkey Magic. There we I, go. Hope you, I hope you do come and see some good <sighs> right. football. Then. You, you knew this was going to come at some point, so we might as well get it done early. Yeah. Um, quite a lot of people have been commenting already. Yeah. Um, and you can see by the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, Kevin yeah. Damon. Yeah. yeah. N and Doy looks superb and should start. What's Mr. Fun's opinion? Uh, he didn't look superb. He did. Um, he did a job. Actually, actually, we, is we, which, is, which is one of the things we'll come been. on to. One of the things we'll discuss. He didn't actually have a, a great deal to do in respect of in possession, <laughs> which absolutely sums me. Which, 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 you know, that's perfect as far as I'm concerned. The least amount of possession he can have on the ball, the better. His passing isn't good, is it? Let's, it's let's it's be woeful. Right. Listen, yeah, yeah, listen, no, no. I, I, I'll. I'll sum Endoy up for for everybody listening. Right in in ten seconds of football on Saturday, Hull have got the ball in the middle of the park. He goes he goes bungling over to try and to try and win possession. He wins possession. He wins the first tackle, and but he can't control it. So it goes back to Hull. He goes in again and he wins the second tackle. And I think okay, okay, hang on. He's, he's done all right here. So he's in possession of the ball. He then drops his shoulder mm -hmm. and takes it past a whole player. And I think that's the first time I've ever seen him do something in possession that's come off. And I think, okay, okay, go on then. <laughs> no, no, getting excited. Okay, I'm on the edge of my seat. Go on then, go on then, give it to Keith Dunbeld and let's go. And I'll, and I will applaud what you've just done. Yeah. In possession of the ball. And I can see his brain going. He sees Colin over on the left wing and he... Uh, He's, in his head, there's a 30-yard pinger out to the left wing there. Okay, and I can see him lining it up. And he mm. plays it. And I think, go on then. And he plays it straight to Seb Larson in the know. middle of the pitch. I know. He and that, su and that sums Chaitin in, Doyle defense, in his defense, to a team. In his defense, he possibly thought that Seb was still playing for well, us. <laughs> but, but, you know, that, that sums him up yeah. to a T. Yeah. You know, the, the, le the less he could do in possession of the ball... In reality, <laughs> is better for us, but we'll discuss. I'm, I'm, you know, I'll, I'll go on to this again d during the show. But e even when it was Keith to Meld and Gardner, and but especially when Gardner went off and Adoy come on, there was a there was a clear motive that they were going to go through that midfield as mm. less as possible. The least amount of time that that ball spent in our midfield, the better. Mm -hmm. We either had it at the back or we had it at the front four, and, and that's and that worked wonders for us. Uh, Des Fox was happy with two up front for a start, and Steve Taylor says we should move St Andrews to Alaska and play in more blizzards. Yeah. That would be he great, said two up front, four up front. It was four, pretty much. It was four it? up yeah. front. It was a front four. Do you know, it, it's, not a, it's not Gallagher up front on his own and three people behind him who aren't supporting him you know we've said this before positions are uh, you're you know you're they're a funny thing in football you you're labeled as a left winger or you're labeled mm -hmm. as an out and out striker or whatever you had four front men up on on saturday mm -hmm. Djukovic was the main focal point striker if we got the ball long it was to him but the interchange between Hotter, Adams and Magoma, they were all picking up different areas. Hotter's got both of it. Hotter was playing on the right-hand side. And when we're not in the possession of the ball, we are set up and we were organised and we had a good shape to us. Mm -hmm. And Hotter was on the right and Magoma was on the left. And Adams was just behind Jukovic and, and we knew exactly what we were doing. In possession... It's that fluidity, it's that interchange, and and Hotter, like I said, Hotter got both of his goals drifting off the right. 
you know and 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 it's and that's what's caused us that's what caused Hull a lot of problems they couldn't they couldn't pick up the front four Pete Taylor said uh, thought Hotter was going to cry when he scored after the third I thought I was going to cry <laughs> yeah I'll tell you what <laughs> at 3 nil, yeah yeah but um you know it, cr- full credit to Hotter because he's one that that has taken a lot of stick for his for his price tag that's yes, not yes, his yeah. fault yep. um you know but uh, like I said under previous management you're a right winger, you're a right winger, and you'll stay out in the right wing, and, and, and that's where you're going to pick the ball up, and that's where you're going to give the ball at right wing. Under Monk, he's got the freedom. He's, he's it, we, He showed it against Middlesbrough, although we didn't score and win against Middlesbrough. Yep. He showed glimpses of it as Middlesbrough, and we showed a lot of it against Hull. Uh, Luke Griffiths wants competitive pricing for the rest of the season. Two for one flips, which Burton game packed the place out. Don't know how many times we're allowed to do it in the season. No, that's the it is trouble. governed by and the are, EFL, isn't it? And you are... You are you know, out doing season ticket holders if you start giving them why. Steve so. Plant wants to know if Undoy owes you any money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, if he does, I'll, I'll happily receive it. But and Chris Redding, I know these. Uh, I, we do read them all, but we can't. Yeah. You know, we can't. We can't keep them coming in. Though. Uh, Gary Monk will bring the good times back to this great football club. Let's hope so. Yeah, Let's no, hope so because. Hope so, um, yeah. Uh, that cannot be a one-off performance, can it? We have seen it improvements feel, that's, week that's on week on thing. week on week. Haven't that we? is Steady. the thing. It doesn't feel like a one-off. No, it felt like an organised, you know, p- planned outfit. They knew exactly what they were doing, um, and it looked like a side that could cause problems. To let's not forget, it was a whole side that beat it, uh, Norwich four-three and Ipswich three-nil. In in the previous week, mm. so, you know this isn't a side who were who were on a terrible run like we were and and low in confidence. This is a side who were flying, and and they came to us and they couldn't handle us. Yeah, uh, and Doy is going on a player swap to Leeds. <laughs> that would be good, wouldn't it? And there's a talk of Hernandez, I think, wasn't it? No. I, mean, I mean, would ever would there ever been a transfer which has yes, <laughs> which has a, been a, 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 better for us if we got Hernandez and they got Endoy? I think we'll leave the transfer window. Yeah, for the absolutely. Day. Uh, four four two all the way for Robert Doyle. Reading will go down, says Mark Johnson. I still think it's 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 very it's, tight. We'll have a look at it shortly. We'll have a look at it shortly. Um, a comment by a guy by us about <coughs> Endoy when he trapped the ball from the air, he trapped it like Pale, turned it like Messi, gave it away like Ronald McDonald. <laughs> bless him. <laughs> that, that, and that's the moment I described. You know, and, what a and brilliant it was, way of putting but it. But it was, it was, you know, he, just just when you're on the verge of thinking, okay, he's done, he's done this, he's he's done the hard bit, all the hard work. Yeah. Go on yeah. then, just play like a proper footballer. Kevin French is with me, or saw Barnsley, so I said that last week, and you know, but yeah, but you know. The teams are listen. Aren't if we like keep we winning, but if we keep winning, we're gonna drag Hull and Reading and hmm. Bolton and Sheffield Wednesday possibly into it. Adam Chambers did cry, bless him. Not first time I've done it, mate. Mm. Believe me, and it probably won't be the last one. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of key opens a banana? A monkey. <laughs> Right, okay. oh. That's Andrew oh, Riley. He's trying his best. <laughs> Steve Salt says it's all rainbows. I think it was all uh, very cold and bitter snow. To be yeah, honest. no, I didn't see many rainbows. But Change yeah. of tactics, not playing out from the back help, says Mark Smith. But, uh, and I agree and with it, that. And it was that. It was. It, it wasn't. You know, get the centre halves having it, giving it back to Stockdale, giving it to the centre halves, who give it to the midfielders mm-hmm. who haven't got the ability on the ball, so they have to give it back. There wasn't that possession for possession sake. The the centrals got it, and they either went through through the midfield to, towards Jukovic, or they give it to the full backs, and it was down the line, mm. and it was that every time as quick as possible, and that that's the key. It, it, it wasn't pedestrian. There was there was an intensity, and the tempo was up, and it was as as quick as you can get that ball to the front four, and they and they will hurt them. Uh, Ray says it felt more than three points, and the best performance of the season from Steve Salt. And Martin Jones wasn't going to say this, but I'm going to. No infiltrators this week. I wonder why. Mm. Well, then. Yeah. <laughs> um, surely Monk could get the best out of Fabrini, <coughs> says Wayne Cook. Poor. Would you I mean, l- listen, if you, who, do you, who would you come in for? Mm. Do you know what I mean? That front four, who played? That, and that's not having Gallagher. You know, I've got to give a lot of credit to Jukovic because... Yeah, you know, Gallagher has, has has been the the number nine. You know, he has been the main striker, the focal point. And uh, Djukovic has 
you know, he's, he's had a lot of criticism about, you know, lack of speed. He looked a little bit leaner. He looked a little bit fitter. He looked sharper. Um, and he held the ball up really well. And when you have got that front four, those three have got a, you know, they're they're feeding off what the what the striker does. Yeah. And and a lot of their good play was because Jukovic was holding it up well. Yeah, uh, Steve Porter's made a, a good point here. A few less in tonight with uh, Excessive Blues, Blues for All, Blues Trust and BCFC followers representing Birmingham City Football Club at the EFL Fans yes. Forum this evening. Good luck to those guys and keep the good work up. Yeah. Um, because what we are, as we said last week with the Blues Trust here, we have to be, we have to be one. Right, we can't. Yeah, definitely. We, we, cannot, yeah. we cannot be splintered. I noticed so there was an EFL group tonight, so yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, I, I don't really want to join the Championship Banter group. I want Birmingham City groups. I don't, I'm not no, yeah, I'm yeah. Not, I'm no interest in anybody else, anyway. Yeah. Um, uh, Keith about not going. Derby was a godsend, said Jamie Teague. Yeah, he worked, he worked very hard again. And Sign under the line, lad. Like, <laughs> like I say, um, you know, when, when Gardner went off, um, obviously... <laughs> the lack of the lack of ability and Doy has in possession. It was important that when we did have the ball in midfield, that Keefton Bell used it well, and I thought he did. You know, he, he didn't try anything elaborate. Didn't try to you know to to play forty yard raking passes here, there, and everywhere. He just kept it simple. And and again, this this, this it looked like it was a direct instru- instruction from the mm. management team mm. that you get it to the full backs and you get it to the front four as quick as possible. Ray says the overhead kick from Adams sure deserved to go in. Now listen, Ray, oh my uh, goodness. the last time I can remember an I overhead kick I couldn't was believe a, what I was seeing. was in the 1991 <laughs> yeah. Leyland Dav Cup final when John Gale scored. Yeah. And then at the end says, well, we managed to get all three points. Yeah, des- desperately unlucky yeah. that was. Um, yeah, but, and again, that was that was good build-up play that you know that got the chance. And, and Adams, um, you know, that, such a contrasting fortune in confidence. Mm. You know, you couldn't imagine any of them trying that under Cottrell. You know, it, it, it's just that they just seem to have they exuded belief and they exuded confidence and that. You know, you, they they went onto the pitch and even the first five minutes, you know, it just felt like they they believed that they were going to go out and, and beat Hall. A few people mentioning this, and I was going to spend a good five five or six minutes on this anyway. Mm. Um, young man, twenty one years old, Wes Harding, yep. first game. Um, seem to do all right. Yeah, we've got, um, we've got some good youth coming through, haven't we? We have. Um, you know, the under twenty threes are are a side that um, you know are, are doing quite well. Obviously, our under our under eighteens are in the the youth cup semi final against Chelsea, which which shows how well how well they've done this season. And and we've got a history of of, of bringing young kids through um, into the first team and then going on to bigger and better things. Positionally, a couple of times caught under the ball a little bit, um, but do you know what? He's got so much pace that it, it can make up for it. I think. You know, okay. I think. I think. I think he can. He, even if he does get caught out a couple of times, his pace will help him out. Yeah, Kev, and Kev says hard input in a mature display. Yeah, one for the future. Well, well, and, and I think Monk mentioned this in his interview as well. Getting a yellow card after nine minutes. Mm-hmm. You know, so you got to play eighty minutes on your debut. Against uh, tricky players, I think they had um, Harry Wilson, who was the kid from Liverpool, out on the left wing. They had Jared Bowen playing for them. Tricky little players, um, but you know, I think for 80 minutes on a yellow card on his debut, um, I think he did really, really well, and he, he can certainly hold his head up. Definitely. Yeah, Pete Tennis Azardin was fantastic in the preseason games. I thought he was nailed on as a start of this season until Harry went on his trolley dash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, God, blimey. Uh, and that really was the start of all of this, wasn't it, really? Which is why... Eh, we're not going back there, are we? No. No, no we're not. Also, a couple of people have, uh, I saw picked up it on it on Twitter, um, and I think one guy did on, on the Facebook page as well. Yeah. Um, I can't remember who it was, but mentioned that none of the starting 11 were lone players. Mm-hmm. Every one of them was... Somebody's just mentioned that on now, the now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, yes. having lone players. You know, Wolves have got tons of them in the top of the league, but, but you know, the, maybe that was a a thing where, where Monk saying, I'm not going to have some of these players next season. So I'm going to um, work with what I've got, yeah. What will I have next season if we stay up? These are the players that are under contract. Let's see what they've got. Hmm. 
Uh, Jacob Jones says Steve Cotter was apparently interviewed afterwards and said if we'd scored four, we'd have won 4 0. <laughs> <laughs> That's so far the laugh of the night, Jacob. Well done to you. He, um, he is an idiot, though, any Cottrell. I mean, how can, how can he say that the players were scared to play at home and then. Three weeks later, they're going to put in a performance like that. Mm. Keith Barber couldn't fault any Blues player on Saturday. No. And I couldn't pick a man of the match as there were so many good performances. I think you have to give it hotter because at the end of the day, goals win your games. And and he, he got two of them and, and was very instrumental in the way we played. Um, you know, his set pieces were very good as well. Nearly scored from, from the corner, which Adams forced the aside from McGregor from. So... Um, I think all all round, um, you know, scoring two goals and having a having, having a big part in in creating problems in the final third. I thought Hotter deserved more than that. Again, another subject I was going to talk about was well, Paul Ipkiss has mentioned this. Putting Robbo in amongst the first team in the dressing room was a no brainer as well. Yeah, possibly. He's, I mean, he's they, been they, there, hasn't he? He's he, been he there has been there. Um, you know, and. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it might makes Michael Morrison feel a little bit more comfortable. Uh, Morrison would have would have been in the squad with mm. with Robinson under Rowett and, and things like that. Um, you know, but uh, yeah, I, I don't I don't envisage um, envisage seeing him playing uh, between now and the end of the season, Robinson. But no, again, no, having no. him yeah. having him around the group Just in the dressing room, um, you know, a popular training, figure. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe it, like you say, I th- it certainly can't harm the the squad. I don't think it will harm the atmosphere. It's certainly done nothing to harm Saturday. No, of course, nothing exactly. whatsoever. So, no. uh, Alison Shilton, evening and all Pilates must be over. Um, <laughs> Kevin Damon, seriously, have you noted his performance to pick a permanently contracted players over low knees? Sends a message to the players that will be there next season. What division do you want to play in, yeah, lads? Yeah, it's, it's almost brilliant, certainly and brilliant, and, brilliant comment. And if we do stay in the championship. Are you going to be here, or am I going to need to bring extra players in? You know, so, he, so he's putting a marker down. He, you know, he's saying to saying to every one of those eleven, "Are you good enough to be to be a, in a decent Birmingham side next year if we stay up? Mm. Go and show me that in the next eight games. Stay up. Go and show me that you're good enough. If, <gasps> if you don't, I'm getting players in. Everything right over there. Ran out of Balti pies. Well, it was cold, wasn't it? I'm not surprised. It was very cold. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and what I've also stand got to, was that, Stuart? Got to give credit to the 22,000 of that turned up in that awful, awful... Fantastic. I'll tell you what. Um, unfortunately, I have to admit this, right? It was um, uh, the Midlands Grand National, which is the biggest day of the, the year for work for me. Mm. Um, so I couldn't go to that game. But I definitely will be there um, against Slipswich. And uh, what was the atmosphere like? Was it... Was it? Yeah, it was fantastic. Um, you know, the... Obviously, the they, they got behind them from the off. Right. Um, you could sense it was a, you know, there, were, there was a, it was a tension in the air because I think how big the game was. Hmm. You know, that we're not stupid. You know, we understand how how important that game was. If we hadn't won that, we were we were staring, we you know, we, we, we were staring do. into the abyss. So, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, there was a little bit of tension, but the as soon as the goal went in, it lifted that tension, and and the, like I said, the players. They um, they, they played with a with a freedom and they, and they played played expressively, uh, and the crowd got behind them and the, and there was you know a, a number of a number of keeper arms throughout the game and um, you know applause for Gary Monk, big applause for every one of the substitutions when Magoma went off, when Djokovic went off, big applause. Um, so yeah, hmm. can I bring us all down? You, Go for it. Yeah, why not? You normally. I'd, I'd, I'd love to feel down. Carry on. Are we in danger of getting maybe carried away after one? I win? don't know, Chris. Because what, no. what, what I've seen is well, is certainly over the last four weeks, three or four weeks, is is performance by performance. It just seems to have got that little bit better. Yeah, a little bit better. And then I watched. I went to the Middlesbrough game, and I was impressed with what I saw. Yeah, w- w- one-off goal that. Mm. Boom! You can't you can't stop them. Yeah. Middlesbrough flying eye, very good team, excellent manager. Might mm. I say? Unfortunately, you know West Brom, I couldn't, you know, <laughs> yeah, not say that. But you know, he's been there, he's done it. He knows he knows the game inside out, and um, he came with a game plan, stifled us out, and that was it. But I, I saw 
a difference in the quality of what we were producing. Yeah. And uh, and of course, I've only seen this one on extended highlights on TV. Mm. Um, but oh my God, what a difference again. Yeah. You know? But but like I said, we, were, we were playing Hall. We have to get it into perspective. We are still in the bottom three. That's yeah, an absolute Absolutely, yeah. If this was the end of the season today, we would be down. We I, would I be still gone. think we've got to get over 10 points to stay up. I think these next three. Well, we've said uh, last week. Yeah, these yeah. next three games are absolutely well, we put the, key to our I, season. I said, now. I said ten. I said ten points at the next four. Now we've got three. At, now we've got three from three. So if we get seven from nine, mm. we're on. We're on course to giving ourselves a good chance. Yeah. Not not on course to stay off. We're on course to giving ourselves a good chance. Mm. Um, Darren Arnold said positive and on the front foot from the start huge difference no Balti Pies ended up having a Bovril from Roy Nice up the Bovril I've not had a Bovril for a long time ah, not had delightful a and I love Ooh, that. a bit of Bovril a bit of Bovril right, with a uh, sachet of pepper mm. nobody's ah, noticed the studio so upgrade over, over here as well oh, no, yeah the coffee machine I've got a coffee machine here have you, you used do it do Bovril yeah. is it on oh, of course yeah Oh, my guess a coffee then, for goodness sake. <laughs> no coffee? Oh, Lord above, crying out loud. What's the point of a coffee machine with no coffee? Because I don't know how to huh? use it. Goodness gracious me. Get the manual out. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Uh, Adam James says it was organised, not lucky, which is, I agree with that. And, yeah. and uh, you know what, that's, that's spot on, that is. At times mm. we've, you know, when we've played well in, in patches, you know, with, I look back to Cottrell's first game against Cardiff, and we had a good first half, mm. and... But we felt like we were on the ropes a little bit second half, and we were holding on a little bit, um, you know. And, and at times we've we've got results where we, you know, away at Sheffield United, we were holding on for dear life towards the end. That was that was we were in full control of that game from minute one, hmm. um, you know. And as soon as we got our goal, that that was it. It was it, you, you couldn't really see us losing it. No, sorry that I'm smiling through that. I wasn't laughing at you, mate. No. Janie Tarbuck, last game of the season and we're staying up. We should all go dressed as monks. How about that? <laughs> Everybody in a habit. Oh, yeah? that's a great one. That would be brilliant. Yeah. A blue habit, though. It'd have to be a blue one. Oh, yeah, yeah. What? Is, hey, I tell you what. I, think, I, bet, I bet they will to QPR. If, if, we're, if we're at the bottom three going to QPR, mm. I, I bet there'll be a few going as monks. Yeah. yeah. They won't do it all the time because I'll make a habit of it. Could we, could we actually ask them across the road? If Red we could, card. Borrow all their bed sheets and make them out of them. <laughs> yeah. There must be thousands and thousands of them over there. Uh, red well, card, well it looks brown. like they're going to need them between now and the end of the Kev Kelly says it's a Tassimo pod machine by the Bosch. There's no Bovril. They don't do Bovril for it. How about a pie chart from Ray? Ray, we'll do that next season. <laughs> we'll do that next season. Can, can we organise a pie? You're, you're a, you know. Yeah. <laughs> very good at the old uh, chartage. Yeah. <laughs> Did anyone else worry that the game might be abandoned just to rub salt in the wounds? You know what? I saw um, glimpses of it, obviously, because I, um, I had a couple of hours off in mm. the afternoon and I saw glimpses of it when they were flicking over on um, Sky. Yeah. And I thought to myself, this is this is just not going to go. This is not going to go the 90 minutes. But it, When they come out of the tunnel at the, right at the start, I thought, oh, this is... This is bleak. This is, <laughs> and then and then at three nil it started again. And I thought, oh no, you know, just our luck. We're three nil up at home, and and it gets snowed <laughs> off. But thankfully yeah. it didn't. Paul Hipkiss, a coffee machine with no coffee is the equivalent of Man City squad with Cottrell in charge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Robert Dawes says we we should go dress as monks <coughs> with clapperboards and enjoy masks. Uh, and oh we... yes, the they have a popular and doy mask that I yeah. keep seeing everywhere. In the I'm shop. looking forward to seeing yeah. mine. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, Dennis has got us. Uh, oh, Lee Geary oh. says we could have scored ten when we had eight on target. Lee, yeah. which is probably the best we've had all season. To be fair, uh, I mean the first twenty minutes, Hotter's goal obviously, but but before that, Adams went through one on one, and it was it was a good save, and Keefton Bell put one over the bar from inside the area, and Hotter had a header over the bar, and. Um, Adams is overhead kick and Adams had a chance from a corner which was well saved so yeah honestly it, but it was and, and the reason we kept getting those chances is because we weren't faffing around with it in, in you know in midfield or in, at the back as, like I said as soon as we got it it was forward and, and we were creating chances <laughs> Pete Taylor says white bed sheets and, and doy mask doesn't seem a good idea to me <laughs> no <laughs> and, and yeah, Kev Kelly says the, the club shop will be stocking robes shortly yeah. um, somebody's asked about the derby fiasco somebody else said we aren't derby you know I know we aren't derby but is football related now 
I live up that way. The streets weren't too bad. The yeah. uh, football pitch would look perfectly all right, and etc. Mm. And I think you've just got a skanky manager up there, to be perfectly honest with you. He's got a few players Ooh. injured and didn't want to play skanky. the game. There you go, so I'm going to leave it at that. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Get it right. Cult hero and doy, says Stevie Salt. Mm. Right. Um, Colt. Did you say Colt? So, Did you say Colt? Colt. Oh, okay. Cult, cult, cult hero. Oh, oh, oh. Nearly got it right. Okay, <laughs> got to wish my son Adam a very happy 32nd birthday today. Happy birthday to you. Happy uh, nice to see you earlier. And uh, he's, he's, he's now a proud owner of one of these with a chain. Oh, um, very nice. He's, he's got one of them. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very so good. There are two. There are two now. So if anybody does want one of these, I can get one made for you. Made quite nice. Right, Smart little piece of kit. That goal from Shay Adams wasn't a cross to me. Sorry, it wasn't a cross. I think he he, he saw it and he, he saw, what, saw what the goalkeeper was. And <laughs> it looked like a cross no, to me. I, I'm not <laughs> convinced. <laughs> I'm not convinced. It looks just like a cross. But, um, can we have a vote on it, please? Can we have a straw poll on this? Cross or shot? <laughs> cross or shot? Yeah. That's all we want to hear. Cross or shot? Cross or shot? Goal. Yeah. Cross, cross or shot? Or you got shot. Four minutes. Four minutes. Okay. Uh, I have to say though, I, I made a bit of a fall out of me because as he's as he's no. broke through, I know, yeah, not for the first time. As he's broke through, he's turned back and he's looking for options. And I've shouted, will somebody please support him? <laughs> <laughs> and he's turned back and dinked it in. And as we're uh, celebrating, I, I, what, once we stop celebrating, I've turned to the guy behind me and go, thank God no one listened to me and supported him. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Dave Ridgeway cross was a, it was a cross. You can see what his yeah, yeah, see yeah, a lot yeah. of crosses uh, there. Yeah. Cross from Shane, Paul uh, Hickman's cross, shot. cross from Dennis, cross shot Ian, Ray cross. Uh, um, was a cross from Shane from Anthony Lloyd, cross or shot, don't care, it went in. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, but, one, yeah. but oh, oh, hey, we've got uh, Adam Humphries was a shot, uh, Martin Jones shot, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> sort of cross, Steve Salt cross. I, I, his reaction, in. his reaction, his celebration. I think, I think showed. He, you know, he, he was a little bit. Oh, I can't believe that's just gone in. So <laughs> Paul Gill, he says it crossed, but it was mental on the stairs as it went in. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, it was. yeah. Uh, Steve oh. Portman, good point. It went in, so shot. Yeah, well, uh, that's true. Good, yeah. good one yeah. there. It's from a shot Roy. on target. Yeah, it's a shot point. on target. Yeah. Good. Good one from Roy there. Uh, can you see it, Nick? No, because there's, there's that many coming. It was a cross and you got it off the monk. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I like that. I've got that one now. That pen has just dropped on that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Good one. Uh, good good one beautiful good shot. Like, everyone done. Mm -hmm. uh, shot. Who would he have passed it to? Let's get it right, lads. It was a calculated chip from Steve. <laughs> <Bart>. <laughs> cross on the wind blew it in. A shot, a bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Lee, Jamie T. I like your sense of humour, mate. Monk ordered a cross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'll tell you what. Tell you what I love technically, doing this. I love doing this. like you say, right. technically, it's, it's going to go down as a shot because be. it's going to shot on target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. He thought somebody But was it was there. a cross. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, competition time. We've got two competitions. Two. One mini mini competition which you're about to do now. Yep. Shall I just... I'll, I'll actually name all the participants. And what was this competition for? Uh, uh, predict, so predicting the, the score. The score predicting the score. For on, okay. On right. And we had quite a few hundred people uh, get that. And only... Five, Five people like, yeah. got um, uh, got the score correct. Their names were Max Tasker, Graham Lazeski, Jordan Potter, Gary Barnfield, and Lewis Carey. Or Carey. Well done and congratulations to you guys. I'll look away as I pull one of these out. Here it is, and I shall hand it to the maestro himself, the one Judy Mr. Fun. Ugh. Drum roll. Do -do 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 -do. Gary Barnfield. Gary Barnfield, there you go. You were the winner of the 3-0 uh, um, competition. Prediction. So yeah, well get in touch with me. Well done to you. You can get the other one ready to do that one. Yeah, we'll do, yeah. Uh, Stevie Gill says, hockey it to different players in the month, finally, and manage it and knows how to coach him. Not, not just, just coaching, but it's giving him that free role, isn't it? You know? Know, it's, it's exactly that. It's, yeah. it's you know, don't, don't just... You know, you're stuck out on the right wing, you know, which it felt like under Cottrell. He, you know, he was out on the right, and it was, if you get the ball, try and beat your man and get a cross in. You know, when it was so regimented, and you could see that he just wasn't comfortable at all with it. And, you know, it's not difficult, is it? Like, football is such an easy game sometimes, and you've got a guy who's 
it has been brilliant in the championship. Mm-hmm. You know, and you paid six million pound for him. Monk comes in and just lets you know, not just Hotter, every every one of them, you know, it was you know, that, that, that like I said, that freedom of the front four, the the fluidity, the movement that they'd that they'd got, it was causing them all sorts of problems. But if you've got Hotter in that position and you're allowing him to get on the ball and orchestrate things and, and get in positions where he can have shots and you know, not put crosses in from thirty yards. You know, actually make yeah. make incisive passes in it, which get us further and, and get us closer to the goal with 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 goal scoring opportunities. And you know, he, like I said, he, he he's right. He he played a massive part, and mm. he was he was my man of the match for his for his key contributions to us winning the game. Um, but yeah, overall, he like I said against Middlesbrough, he was much better, and and against Hull, he was very very good. Yeah. Um, right, okay. Uh, Paul Gill reckons the prize ought to have been a trip to the Monk Monastery. Right, <laughs> no, yeah. for this. Uh, there's yeah, a thought. Yeah. There's a thought. Actually, if if we survive, if we survive this, should we rename St Andrews the Monastery? <laughs> <laughs> Just a thought. I'm, I'm going to say no. Yeah, I don't I'm going to say no as well. well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I've got to say no. Yeah. Ian Lemon says, remember that uh, Ari Gazumt Friar took when at miserable to Middlesbrough to get hotter and Friar took. Knows yeah. to play in. Yeah, Monk did want um, Hotter at Middlesbrough. Yeah, um, you know, and he ended up coming to us. So eventually, as, as he's Carl got James his man, and yeah, yeah. He, uh, and hopefully, he can he can play a big part in in it, keeping us up to, at the end of the season. Mm, Kev Kelly says Mick McCarthy and Ipswich are looking very unsettled. I've got another big opportunity oh. to take three points. I mean, they're now, a weird twenty-two odd thousand at St Andrews uh, for Saturday's game in yeah. those conditions. Yeah, international break now. Um, we've got another couple of weeks to hopefully improve a little bit more. Oh, the international break, by the way. Don't you just love them? Yeah. Don't you just love Always. them? Always. Um, I wonder what kind of crowd we can get for that one. Depends on the pricing. I'm not, I'm not sure if they've released I mean, look, the pricing, but you're watching some of these other teams that are down there. Yeah, like, there's just like so many empty chairs. We're, yeah, we're, yeah. we're starting to fill up. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that's, and again, that's that's momentum, and that's uh, you know people who, who question changing. There wasn't many of them around, but people who question changing the manager. That's what changing the manager can do. You know, it just gives the whole place a lift. Uh, going back to St Andrews again um, <laughs> uh, Shane says if we do the treble next season Monk can call it what if what, what, what we only <laughs> yes <laughs> exactly yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bleepy says Monk's never lost three in a row I didn't know that thanks for that stat teams will be scared if it was called that to change the tilt to the coffin yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> Oh dear, we could have that monk music playing because the teams come out as well. Oh, you might go build the atmosphere, yeah. <laughs> Stuart Bailey, ten or a ticket, and you'll get a good credit again. Stuart, I'm not, I'm not um, sure. Well, Kevin on... French has put fifteen pound adults. I think okay. if it is that, then that you'll get close to twenty two yeah. again. Yeah. I think. Um, I can't yeah, see it. Cal Jones is saying fifteen pounds adult, ten student, and five pounds for kids. Perfect. Brilliant. I should bring a car for. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and again, fill the place and, and make it the... make it exactly the same as it was um, against Hull. But again, the atmosphere's got to go from the off from the from the minute that yeah, team but, walks out that tunnel. But again, it was you know it was a joint effort. Again, the you know the players gave the <clears throat> fans something to get behind. There was you know they were getting forward and creating chances early on. You know, the, I look back at the God, what I'd give to have what we had on Saturday. Against Barnsley and Millwall at home, yeah. where we started so pedestrian and so tepid, and and let the opposition get in control <laughs> of the game, <clears throat> you know. And if we had an ounce of what we had on Saturday at home to Barnsley, I think you see a different a different result there. Mm. Um, you just hope that the change wasn't made too late. Having some differences of opinion, Heath Burgess is saying cut C for the Ipswich game, £20, £25. And Kev Kelly once uh, says uh, Ipswich supporters are saying that uh, McCarthy has run his course, let's hope. I, I think I think that is that is a situation there where, um, you know, it, it's probably the right time for them to, yeah. for them to change manager. Um, yeah. You know, it, it has grown a little bit stale. The, the relationship between the fans and the manager hasn't been great over the last year. Imagine if we have another three weeks. <sighs> oh, no, no, anyway. uh, Ian Lomas, I was working overtime for the Ipswich game until Cottrell went. That's the attitude. The <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. That, but, and again, so who who was that, sorry? Was that Ian yeah, who put Ian that? Lomas, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. You know, if Ian gets down to the Ipswich game, which he wasn't going to do under Cottrell, you know, and, and, and I'm sure he, Ian's feelings are exactly the same as a lot of Blues yeah. fans. Yeah. You know, they, we we got something to get behind now. You know, we, we've got a team and a, and a, a and a group of players and management team. You know that 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 conglomerate, if you like that that you can get behind and mm. you, you can actually back and and really believe in towards the end of the season. Whereas three weeks ago we were we were accepting relegation without should a fight. We, should we play Hay with the monkeys as the team comes? No, out? no. <laughs> Uh, Des Fox, are we all this price sensitive? Don't we want the support regardless? Yes, we are, Des, but it's it's great it's when you have incentives. Uh, incentives. Yeah, it, you know, obviously you want it, you want the ground as full as possible, and but you have got you have got season <laughs> ticket holders sorry, who have sorry, played. Sorry, sorry, Alan, minute. What about the Tilton Abbey? <laughs> the Tilton Abbey. Yeah. No. I don't know what you're doing, Mrs. Brown. <laughs> sorry, I'm drunk. Um, obviously, yeah, but you have got you have got. Season ticket holders who who yeah. pay a lot of money, yeah. and and you can't give tickets away for ten pound every single game because mm. the season ticket holders have paid for theirs. But yeah. but you have to you have to strike that balance and get as many in as possible between now and the end of the season. Mm. Um, right, going back to the game again. Uh, Matt Butlin says Colin and Wes supported Hotter and Mags really well on Saturday. Genuine pace going forward, but also Hotter was doing a lot of tracking back and I, helping. The point I was about to make is the same same the other way as well. When you were out of possession, Magoma worked very hard to get back and support Colin, and Hotter got back very well to support Harding. Now, Hotter's a flair player, you know, and he's got a lot of tricks in his book. Um, and he and he's someone that can that can really change the game for us. But he's got a young kid at right back. It's freezing cold. It's snowing like mad, and he's still working hard to get back. Now you you wouldn't have seen that from Hotter mm-hmm. a month ago, you know. But uh, and again, well, you wouldn't have seen change it. You'd have seen you wouldn't have seen it from anyone. What well, you'd have seen Shay Adams on for the last ten minutes. Well, yeah, yeah of course, 15. of course. Uh, so so, so actually. That change of management, but again, is giving us everyone Dorn, a lift. As Robert Dawes says, Monk made changes throughout the game, which was nice to see. Yeah. Um, Obviously, the Gardner one was forced, but he could see Magoma had worked himself into the ground, run his socks off, and he brought Boger on as a straight swap. And then, likewise, Jukovic has worked himself into the ground, and he brought Davis on for, for 10, 15 minutes, which was good to see Davis back in the fold as well. And Nick Pointer says, can I be the one who says this, but... We are still in the bottom three. We need crowds. We need some noise. We need support. We need some luck. And keep our fingers crossed. We are still not out of it, which was what we said in the opening opening notes as well. Yeah, we've got eight (laughs) eight games left. Everyone's got eight games. Um, Adrian says, I think performance each game, uh, like Saturdays, the fans will come back. It's not that I mind paying. It's just I think when there is an incentive (laughs) and, and... if there was to bring ever, a lot of people, if, you know, obviously if, you if, bring. If ever it three was or the four, right yeah. game to have an incentive, yeah. it was Saturday. Yeah, oh yeah, it was Saturday. Massively, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Ken Plaster, you were talking League One last week. Well, we're still not out of it, Kent. And I just said, said earlier, you know, if we're the not finished today. We, we, would we be could there. still be talking League One in a, in a month's time, but we've given ourselves a chance. You know, we're, we're in with a shout now. We're, we're in with a fighting chance. Mm. We, which is all you can ask, really. You know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna s- stay up with three games to go between now and the end of the season. It's gonna go down to the last <laughs> couple of games. Mm. I know we've had the season ticket debate many times, but Roy Atwood yeah. says, wouldn't it be nice if we could introduce a cheap season ticket scheme? Uh, a couple of clubs have already done it and get really good gates, two hundred pound an adult. I think Huddersfield. We, had, they had, have, and Bradford are one as well. But Bradford, yeah. the Blues Trust were in last week, and and they yeah. made the point that. Actually, we are we're not too we bad. are cheap. I think we're we about are we are we fifth, we yeah, offer yeah. cheap season tickets yeah. for this division. Mm-hmm. You know our you know our value for money, if you like. Obviously, we're not <coughs> we haven't played very well this season, so value for money is a difficult mm-hmm. one to gauge. Mm-hmm. But actually, compared with other championship teams, we offer some good deals for season ticket prices. Uh, David Curry, I'm a season ticket holder, and all I want is a full St Andrews. Uh, yeah, I think that's yeah. that's what we all want. Yeah, um, Dennis. But is, if De- you've paid four hundred and fifty quid. And you're twenty second, and then you with three game, with eight games to go, you're letting people in for a five or a tenner. Yeah, it's, it's a difficult one, isn't if it? If that saves your season, you yeah, 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 you know. Well, and, and what and what I do say is, <coughs> at the start of the season, season ticket holders know exactly what they're paying for. Mm. You know, they're, they're happy to pay that money at the start of the season. 
Um, but obviously, they don't want to be they don't want to be shortchanged while they're giving their money up front for the for the duration of the season. Yeah, they're going to be controversial. Some, of them, what, some of them don't want to go when it's snowing either. Oh, woo! Have you got something to? I'm not saying anything say? else. I don't no? need to say anything else because people know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but yeah, you know, so the season ticket holders are are the number one concern. Listen, the club have shown that. The way they did the the ticketing scheme in the FA Cup, didn't they? With with, with the Huddersfield um, replay, with the possibility of getting Man U, they they put that incentive out there, but changed it so that season ticket holders still got their still got their um, res- reserve, if you like, first before everyone else. To me, 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 I'd do a season ticket that includes all cup games as well at home. But what if you don't get any? What, you, 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 so you pay it. So you pay a little bit extra. Yeah. You pay a little bit extra. You draw Spurs away in the third round of the League Cup, and Man United away in the third round of the FA Cup, and you yeah. go out in both, and you haven't got a home game. Yeah, in the yeah, cup. I see your point. You know, and, and you've paid. Shoot me down, my You've yeah. paid fifty quid <laughs> extra. But yeah, yeah. I think you scream louder, don't you? So you can win. Oh, okay. Makes it a bit more. Yeah, the consen- <laughs> consensus of the opinion looks <laughs> looks <laughs> like <laughs> everybody has said about the season tickets. You know. They're not really bothered if you know somebody gets in. For yeah, the tenor, you know? yeah. Um, anyway, I think what one you know one Ooh. one every so often. Yeah, not not every other week giving a tenner a ticket because you're gonna you're gonna have complaints. Kev French says, "Did the players celebrate the win with an Abbott's ale?" Ooh. Oh yeah, okay. Ooh, very, good. very good, very good, very <laughs> good. Uh, <laughs> Okay, we've got a second competition uh, on the go now. How many how many people shared last week? Over a shares. Over a hundred. Over a hundred. Yeah. Um, hundred and twenty to be after, exact. After, after I've written the opening notes, That's why I logged back on onto here. There was um, uh, in excess of one thousand five hundred people mm. who already viewed it. Uh, I'd have to refresh it again uh, to find yeah. out what it would be. But you know, oh, the audience. Jamie wants amazing. to know: Have we got season tickets? Janie, I work very often on a Saturday, right? Um, so no, I haven't. I have been a season ticket holder in the past. I get to as many games as I possibly can, but you know, unfortunately, some people do have to work Saturdays. And you mm. know, if there's a game on a Saturday mm. and I have to, it's my my turn to go in, or my turn on a Wednesday, or, or even play on Tuesdays, mm. Mondays, you know, um, and then I can't get there. So it's it's not practical for me to have a season ticket. But what I have decided is we're definitely going to get one next year. And then if I can't go, at least my lad can go yeah, and, and yeah, use yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know whether the club allow that, do they? If you don't tell them, I just have. I'll never know. <laughs> 128 shares was last week. So I've just been correct. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't have a season ticket this season because I was working there, obviously, at the start of the season. Yeah. But now I'm not working there. Why aren't you working there now? <laughs> oh, oh! I thought this was a no, common no, knowledge. No, no. Oh, I haven't. I haven't been for sacked. a couple of months. No, no. Because I, I was, I, I wanted to get Rate watch more of the You've game. Been rating pies. Right. I wanted okay. to watch more of the game, <laughs> so um, I started going the game. And obviously, I've got a trip in the summer, which I didn't know when that was oh, going to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know when that was going to be. Come ah. November, December time. So hmm. yeah, so I. I, I just go to the games now. I go to. Every, I, I think I've. I think I've missed one. So will you December. invest in a season ticket? I will next be getting year, one next maybe. year. Yeah, so yeah. That, that's yeah. two more that will be gotten next yeah. year, uh, Mrs. Brown. Well, I'm the same as you, really, because yeah. I, I work a lot of these. I just, I just go when, <laughs> when I can. Basically. Paul Hipkiss says I went with Cottrell's coaching staff when Cottrell got the sack. I got the boot as well. <laughs> oh, they, God. they put it all on me. <laughs> 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 no, I didn't know. I really didn't know that you. Oh, okay. I thought yeah, it was okay. kind of knowledge. Yeah. Oh, I thought it'd be quiet on the coaching yeah. side. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah. So I can't, I can't, I can't moan at you for a you scabby can, pie anymore. You can, but yeah. it won't so be somebody got your job. Yeah, yeah. Somebody got your job. Oh, oh I'm now. sure someone will have it. Won't be doing as. So good you never offered. You never thought. Won't be doing as good a job as me, but you know, someone, someone will be doing a poor job. You never thought, oh, I'll offer this job to somebody. You know, I've talked and talked about they would like that. It's a good idea, Mike Hanson. Weekend season tickets would be a good idea for people who can't make the week games. But then, what about the ones that they change? Exactly. If you got, if you manage it, like we had, we had Millwall. On the Saturday, didn't we? But it had to get moved because it might have been moved because of the FA Cup. Mm. So that would have become a Tuesday then. So you're, you're losing out then, aren't you? So, um, mm. yeah. What's the shirt? People are asking what the shirt is. <laughs> no, I've just, uh-huh. just noticed. It's, it's, um, it's Spain. 
I hope not. Just spine. Oh, just spine. Just spine. Oh, he's got a football shirt, is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a football shirt. Yeah. Uh, Stuart Bailey wants a free bulky pie, pretty much for God. every season ticket holder. Um, we need somebody to Ian Loma in. says, my niece has <laughs> used mine, my brothers and my sisters have used mine. Uh, let's keep the winning habit from Peter Ware. Oh, enough with the habits. Yes. Come on. You're better than this. <laughs> yes, come on. <laughs> yeah, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Fun went with the I'm going to Google religious uh, jokes now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do the second competition then, my friend. And here we go. Da, 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 da. 128 shares, was it, last week? 128 last 128 week, yeah. All this paper. Oh. All this writing down you have to do. Is it not a Stop me all night. <laughs> Oh, it's this one. What, what does Ellie do on a Monday night? On a Sunday night. <laughs> Craig Coates. Craig, Craig Coates, you are a winner. Get in touch. <coughs> Get in touch. Message me, oh, and you've your, got a prize no coming your, to you. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, no, that's. I'm sure people will be happy with that. Okay, you put this spreadsheet together. And, I uh, have, yeah. And, and, and put, it my, on, uh, put it on busy, Facebook. Busy and We've gratefully had a, a copy printed off for us now. Start to run through it for us. So <clears throat> I've put it on the, the Facebook page as well. Um, so basically we've got eight games left and I have put the fixtures from everyone. Sunderland, obviously bottom at the moment, all the way up to Sheffield Wednesday. I think Sheffield Wednesday are realistic. They're probably, I mean, I've, uh, I've predicted their results you know, to to see where where teams will finish, mm -hmm. I've probably been a little bit harsh to Sheffield Wednesday, um, basically because just to keep them down there, <laughs> you know, to keep them in with a shout of relegation. Um, as it stands, with eight games left, I've got us safe, and I've got us finishing above Barnsley and Hull, level on points with Reading and Sheffield Wednesday now. So you don't think Reading will get get right dragged into it then? Well, I think it's possible. I've got Reading. The thing about Reading, they've got QPR at home next week, next game. Um, yeah. Now that's winnable. I know QPR have, have done pretty well actually the last two games. Um, you know, winning away at Villa and picking up a point away at Fulham. But I think that if you're Reading, you look at that game and say that's winnable. Mm -hmm. They've also got Sunderland at home. Now that's very winnable, and they've got Ipswich at home. The last that's their last home game, which is winnable. Um, so I think Reading. Ooh, interesting. Oh, sorry, Kev Kelly says, can you put a link on not just a picture? Uh, I think you can. Uh, Chris could I? Could I? Yeah. You know how to do it, don't you, Chris? What? Just what put a like link if, up if, to the Excel spreadsheet. <coughs> if um, oh, you yeah, put a yeah, link, yeah, yeah, <coughs> yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. Get that I'll done. do. I'll do that it's tomorrow. Tilt, you show me how yeah, to do it. Yeah, it's on the Tilton Talk Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's on the Tilton. I'll do. I'll do that tomorrow. Good idea. Then everybody can have a. Yeah, they adapt their own. Then don't they? Yeah. Next few weeks, hello. Ah, Manuel. Yeah, very good. I like that. <laughs> yeah, so um, <laughs> it's a descending like a cow. Barcelona. <laughs> little bit. Isn't he from Barcelona though? Yes. Barcelona. Yeah, I'm not a Barcelona oh, fan. No, no, I'm no, no. more Madrid. So. Oh, right, okay. um, <laughs> yeah. So I th I can see Reading getting themselves out of it. Yeah. As it stands, I've got so Burton. I think Burton have got a really tough run in. I've got them beating Hull so at have, home. Let's have a look at their running then, Burton's. Yeah. Cardiff. Cardiff away, really tough. So away are in red, I take it. Yes, then. away yeah. is red front, right. yeah. So when anybody looks at this then tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, so you've got no points from that one. No. Borough, no points. Borough at home, nothing. You're saying that we're going to beat I them think, as well? I think, they'll come, I think we'll beat them at home, yeah. That's at St Andrews. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I think if, we, if we're if we unbeaten, if we've beat Ipswich and got something from Bolton, I yeah. think we'll go in with a lot of confidence against you Burton. Think, do you think they're going to beat Hull? I think they could beat Hull, right. which, which, looking at their fixtures, they're going to have to. So I'll give them three points there. But then they've got Derby at home, Sunderland away, Bolton at home and Preston away. Mm. Now, I've, I've given them nothing else. Robert Doyle says uh, Burton are a gory team. They are. Uh, they they are. Men, 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 However, we beat them in the cup. <laughs> yeah. This season, mm. um, and I think I just think the run we're on. I hope we're on. Having spoken to a Burton player over the weekend, player. Uh, sorry, uh, I was say, who are you in connection with? Oh. <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, uh, he's wasn't on the corner, was he? Burton fans are of the opinion that they actually don't want to stay in the division this year. 
because yeah. of the regeneration they'd have to do and the amount of money it would cost them. Right. Ridiculous that they haven't done that over the three, is it three years that they've been? Two, uh, two or three years? Two or three, yeah. 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 Ridiculous. They were definitely here last year, weren't it's they? It's the third yeah. season, isn't it? Right? But they haven't yeah. done it bit by bit, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. But and spread that cost I, I, I just think, you know, they've, they've done so well to stay up last year, um, you know, against all the odds, almost certainly the lowest budget in the league. Mm. Um, I, I just think it's a little bit too much for them this season. Well, their MP, uh, right honourable Andrew Griffiths, yeah. MP, wanted to name a street after the chairman. Oh, OK. <laughs> Didn't go down well. No, <laughs> I can't imagine it did. But So, I've got them going down. Uh, I've currently got them finishing bottom. Yeah. Now, then I've got Sunderland. I've given Sunderland a, a very generous... What have I given there? Ten points? Yeah. That's generous, based on what they're doing at the moment. Mm. They have got Sheffield Wednesday at home, Norwich at home, <coughs> Burton at home, which I can see... <laughs> you know, if they, if they manage to turn it around, I can see them possibly getting three points in those games. As it stands, I've got them finishing comfortably in the bottom three. Mm. I think they're gone. Um, you know, so I, I don't think... Um, th- there's a massive worry about them, and then filling the relegation zone at the moment. I've got Barnsley, so I think Barnsley. Barnsley I think Barnsley are in trouble. I've got Barnsley finishing in the bottom three, mm. whilst going on a five-game unbeaten run in the next five games. So I've been generous to Barnsley as well, okay, well what- and I've still got them finishing in the bottom three. Like I said, what we'll do is we'll. This is from this week onwards, is it now? This yes. Onwards, yes. Right? So this is up to date so, now. This so we will is, yeah. keep a copy of this here. Yeah. All right, and we'll update that every single Monday. Yeah. Um, and then you, you're quite allowed to change your mind. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's a prediction this week. Well, I'll have to listen if you know if we lose at Ipswich, I'll mm-hmm. have to change our figure. Obviously, yeah. you know. So. Um, but it, what I'm going to be interested in. You've made what? Well, uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixty-four predictions. Yeah, there. yeah. I'll be very interested to see how many of those you get right. <laughs> Based on my Super Six predictions this season, <laughs> it's not going to be sixty-four. I can tell you that. Um, can I just say I've got a great going out song today. Ah, oh, okay. good stuff. Uh, Chris Woodley says can't see Barnsley beating Bristol. Well, that's that's one of the games I've given as winning. Mm. You know, mm. I, I've given Barnsley three points against Bristol City at home, which is their next game. I've also got them beating Sheffield United and Bolton and picking up points away at Forest and Ipswich. Mm. Now, if they do that, Sheffield United. Possible. If they do that, then you know, bloody hell, fair play to them, and and they'll give themselves a great chance. Mm. But actually, even if they do that, if we can pick up the points that I think we can, and hold Reading. Bolton and Sheffield Wednesday do their bit, I still think they'll go down. Mm. Stuart McDonald says results of any team are unpredictable. Look at the They infidels. are massively. Look at the infidels from B6 losing against Bolton. Of course. Uh, playing QPR. against Cardiff yeah. and winning. Well, it wasn't Cardiff, it was... Um, well, I think it means I, when um, we did yeah, play yeah, Cardiff, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. But it is, it's completely hypothetical. Yeah, of course. And it's almost certainly going to be a load of but rubbish from the end of the season. Fun from Mr. Fun but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, it shows, it shows that we need to continue. Hmm. What, what it does show is that if these teams pick up points, we need to continue picking up points, otherwise <laughs> yeah, we're in trouble. Me, yeah, and as somebody said, I can't remember the name, the, 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 the note has gone there, uh, that we have only won one, we're not on a run. Yeah, of course, um, exactly. It's one win in eight in reality. So. Yeah, yeah. But Ken Plaster says, what amount of points are you saying keeps us up? Yeah, yeah. I've got Barnsley going down on 44. So I think 45 you need to get, which means we need another 12. Um, I've give us finishing on 47, which is a beating Ipswich, beating Burton, beating Sheffield United at home and QPR away. Now, if, Bar- if Barnsley do finish on 44... Have you got us nothing for the following game? Yes. Zero, nothing. Zero. What? Everybody dressed as a monk? Everyone dressed as a monk, and I've got Everybody us getting, across, <laughs> getting nothing. Dressed as a monk. <laughs> um, but, you know, us finished on 47 as it stands, so we could we could afford to draw one of the Sheffield United at home or QPR away, and we finish on 45, and if Barnsley do finish on the 44 that I've given them, Ross we still finish. Ross about other teams, if we get 10 points, we stay up, which is probably right, Ross, but we're doing this for a bit of fun between now and 10, the end of the season. 10 would give us 43. 
which is pushing it <laughs> yep, per my much, calculations. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely be doing a show in the underpants if uh, uh, someone's asked how we're doing the show next week. What are we next week? Is it is it Easter next week? No. What is it next week? The twenty fifth of March, I think it is. Why would, why would he not be doing our show? Yeah, no, it's because of the international break. I think, yeah, no, we'll still be here. Oh, I think, I think here. it's yeah, the week yeah, after. Yeah, you yeah. might be. Sure. What yeah. are you gonna do? Oh, right, yeah, okay. Because that'll but, be after the Ipswich game, won't it? Yeah, we'll yeah, have a chat yeah, about yeah. that later. Oh, we'll, um, we'll, we'll think about that one. Yeah. Ken Plaster says historically forty-five points. Um, yeah, well, historically and, forty-five points. I think forty-five points will just keep you up. And Anthony Lloyd's got Barnsley at 39, us 41, but did have the, us and them to draw at the weekend. And you, you see just how unpredictable the league can be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, division yeah. Is, yeah. is its own. And uh, who would have thought the infidels would I mean, have been was... Wolves for one and then lost the next two? <laughs> <laughs> Against QPR and Bolton as well. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I didn't see that coming. But what he's, he's, he's got a good point. And also, another important factor in the Ipswich game is that we play on the Saturday... Now, everyone else plays on the Friday, on the 30th, on Easter Friday, on right. Good Friday. So, everybody else... So, we're a televised game for that one, then? I don't think so. Right. I don't know why we're on the Saturday. It might be something to do with Villa or West Brom, or I don't know. But we play on the Saturday. <laughs> everyone else is on the Friday. Am I allowed to say that, Group? Nah. No. No. Which one? Everybody's seen it though. Yeah, Mrs. Brown is normally yeah. away at Easter dogging oh, in this okay. caravan so Fantastic. possibly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> probably, he's probably right, actually. Again, it's he does go Dennis, next week. Please. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that, but, that, but that's an important thing to consider as well because if everybody's lost, yeah. that Ipswich game becomes so big. You know, you think if you can beat. If, every, if Burton have lost, if Barnsley have lost to Bristol City when I've given them three points, if Hull have lost to Villa. If Bolton have lost at Leeds, yeah. If, if all these results have come in, <coughs> excuse me, then then it gives us a massive incentive and a massive boost to go into that Ipswich game on the Saturday and win it. Right, it's very important though. Very important. I want you to listen to this very carefully. Listening, uh, Pete Taylor. Next week, can we analyse in depth Andoy's performance for Senegal against Uzbekistan? He's really looking forward to it. Can we take a ten minute slot? If, next if week, Stephen yeah? can get no, no, me, no, no, can we? Can who, we take... who said it? Sorry, Pete was Taylor. it Pete? If Pete can get me a, a DVD of the or footage of the ninety minutes of Senegal versus Uzbekistan, what then, it'd be live. Then, then I will watch it. It'd be live on Sky One, sure. I will it? watch it <laughs> if he can do that for me. Sky Sports. I will watch Sky it Sports and I'll, and I'll let you know what I think. Running live. <laughs> Kev Kelly says, "Do not rely on B6 to do anyone, anywhere, any favours." We know. Yeah. We know. Well, they've got a haul next week. No, no. but I, I looked at their I looked at their fixtures, you know, a couple of weeks ago, thinking, okay, so they'll beat Bolton and then they'll beat Hull, so that keeps Bolton and Hull around us, and they've gone and lost to Bolton. So uh, I've got an explanation. It's for religious reasons. All right, that we plan on Saturday as Monk can't play on, on, on Good Friday. <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, Fantastic. David Brown, you're, At least you're the one tonight, to mate. That was brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. They've got out brilliant. the habit, haven't they? Saying Stop the habit. saying no, habit. No, I'm saying they've got out the habit of going on about <laughs> habit jokes. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, uh, that was Stuart, becoming Stuart Bailey, if we replicate what we did on Saturday of the next eight games, I can see us bagging 12 points. The Monk has to keep them focused. Yeah. And I, we, can't, we can't sit back and we, and, we, and we can sit back and enjoy watching their vile lose in the playoffs. Mm. Wouldn't I hope so. Wouldn't if they get there, be. well, there is that as well. Still going to make sure. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Couldn't give a fry mm. <laughs> Well done. Oh dear. Well done. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, we're playing on Saturday as Ipswich couldn't get there. Saturday as the tractors are too slow. <laughs> Helpful, <laughs> you're brilliant. <laughs> you know, we, I, I read most of these blind. Uh, and usually, if there's anything untoward, I'll stop and say oh, I can't read that one. Yeah. But that that was funny. That was funny. Nice one. Um, we're into the last 25 minutes of the show, so ramp up the comedy, then, shall we? Ramp up the comedy. Let's have some fun. Uh, we'll need to get a new fryer to take care of the chips at home games. Mm -hmm. Chips are back on. Apparently. No chips. Yeah. No. Oh God! No chips. No chips. What happened to the chips? It's a they, don't, they don't do chips many places. It's but, only in the Tilton but, Corner. But why? Mm. Why? What's so special about the Tilton got, Corner? <coughs> they've got to get the the the, the fryers in. So what? Fryer. <laughs> oh! But, they, but that, that is genuinely but the answer. Yeah, they can't yeah, put yeah. the fryers in all of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's um, chippiest. 
Oh. Steve Rice says wins win, wins against Ipswich, Bolton, Burton, Sheffield United, draw Bristol and QPR, and lose against Wolves and Fulham. Total forty seven. I've got the same points. Um, who, did, who did you say wins against Ipswich, Bolton, but oh Bolton? So he's got us beating Bolton, and I've got us beating QPR. Swap those QPR's over. QPR's going to be tough. <sighs> But that's going to be the last away game of the season. Now, QPR aren't going down and they're not oh, going yes. to finish in the Robert, playoffs. Robert Doyle says, I think that all teams that come to Tandrews will score none goals. None. Oh, yeah, I've got a better nice. one. I've got very a better good. one. Go on. oh, have you? I hope the Monk, I hope the monk doesn't alter it oh. for the next oh. game. Oh. I think that's the winner oh. for tonight from Kevin. Oh. Kevin Diamond. Oh. Well done. Oh. This is... <laughs> <laughs> Stop thinking so much. Gary Monk, I quite like him. Oh, I hate him. Hate to wear them. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, Mary Daw says if I will bottle it and not make the playoffs, Mary, that would make my day. That would be so funny. As long as we stay up. As long as we stay, exactly. Yeah, because couldn't care. We'll not. We'll not cheer me up one bit if we've gone down. So. Mm. Mm. Uh, if we stay up, you boys should have uh, the basin cut and a mm. shave in the middle. <laughs> you two can. <laughs> There's not a cat in hell's chance of me doing that. that. Would be, come on. E- even, even, even for People Gary obviously Monk haven't looked at mine. <laughs> <laughs> or, or everybody turn up with a basin cut <laughs> for the last game of the season. If we stay up, everybody, not just us. Why just us? Three? Why pick on us? <laughs> and Dale so Quillen says, we will not perish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear oh golly no, I'm a believer um, Den- Dennis did mention it. the fact that you were an ordained minister of Chris earlier I, I, I am, am actually an ordained minister yes too. I am still so uh, both of us in here are ordained ministers so there you go so uh, Andrew Cow says none do it oh <laughs> <laughs> good that we're Got back on to you. Oh, Monk has got the players in his psalm. Sorry, Paul. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> oh, dear me, dear me. Oh, dear me. Indeed. I've already gone, Monk. You're dead right, I have, mate. <laughs> uh, Adrian Harris says, let's do it. I'm up for that. We'll have a Monk haircut, a proper, you know, like. you got no chance. <laughs> Why? Absolutely no chance. It's not going to do it. Just I, I did a bungee jump, jump for you, idiots. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not having that haircut. <laughs> None shall pass. The fans will be too busy singing to put anybody down. Didn't quite get that one, Paul, even though you were in love. Uh, I look like I'm wearing a habit. No, not yeah, but I will do. I'll, try. I'll, I'll get one for the last game of the season. I've got mm. no problem with it. I think so. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Well, if we've cross. stayed up, if we've cross. stayed up, I'll come in in a. I don't mind coming in in a. In the outfit. Come on. I'm just not having the haircut. Coming in where? In here or or to in the here. last game? I'm not going to. I'm not not going to the last game dressed like a like a monk. You're not. No, I'm not. Paul says you. I'll, wa- I'll 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 wear. I'll I'll do the Gary Monk outfit. So he's just a casual casual pullover and trousers. Yeah. It's very I'm happy um, to do that. It's very reminiscent of. Uh, Mr. Do you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. getting. I don't like. You know me, I don't like to get overly carried away at the best of times. But it do, doesn't it just... Every single little thing about it feels mm-hmm. just a little bit like... Rowitesque. Yeah, oh. like the start of his reign. Yeah. Um, which makes you think if you do if you do stay up, if we can stay up this season, oh, you, you've really got... Pews, you're uh, man of the match. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 Chris Pews. Yeah. Hey. Well done. Yeah, go on, sorry. You know, if, we do, <laughs> if, if we do stay up this season, um, you know, all, you think of all the optimism we had in in the pre-season last season with Redknapp in charge, mm. I think you'll have, you'll have just as much with Monk in charge if we stay up. Mm. I really do. Archie Shepherd, does anybody think the atmosphere was flat on Saturday as they kind of didn't know what to do as we hadn't won for five or six games? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it felt a, a little people bit... people said that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when the third goal went in, yeah, at, at that point, I think everybody was just so overjoyed. You know, you, you've gone 3-0 up, you, you're not going to throw it away, even Blues couldn't yeah. throw it away from there. Um, and, and the game, I wouldn't say petered out, you know... We, we were still in control, you know, and we were still having our fair share of chances, but, um, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't end to end. And because there were no nerves and, and, and like he says, because there was no tension and, 
and it was a little bit calm. And mm. maybe it did feel that way, but I, I, I certainly think the the atmosphere was, was ramped up on on Saturday, and, and credit to the fans and the players for for achieving that. Kevin Kelly wants to see you in a late Elvis jumpsuit. Hmm. Nice one. <laughs> the, the, I think I'd resemble the late Elvis uh, quite well at the moment. He's a good one. Ian Lomas says there's no programs anymore, just Bibles. <laughs> <laughs> I love this time of night, I do. <laughs> I'm a bit worried about the little halo that's appeared towards your right hand side. I just Mine. can't seem to get it get rid of it. Yeah. yeah. That's a bit scary. I'm spiritual isn't it? man. Yeah. You've blasphemed. Uh Andrew Whitehouse, who do you think the front three will be on Saturday? Well it's a week on Saturday now. It's uh, please yeah. don't, please don't turn up on Saturday. No, no, yeah. <laughs> um <coughs> I'll be amazed if it's if everyone's fit. <laughs> I don't think it'll change. Even if Gallagher's fit, I don't. I don't no. think he'll change that front four. No. Um, I think Gallagher will be on the bench. And 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 to be honest, Hull at home, Ipswich at home. I don't think there's a great amount of of, of difference to that. Um, so I think I think you do. I think I think the the players that played on on Saturday did well enough. You know, did mm. so well that actually, you know, three goals at home, a three nil win go out and do it again you, you, you've you earned yourself the chance to, to stay in the first 11 and go again yeah yeah George Ellis says I wouldn't walk around Smalley dressed as a monk that would cause a riot up there yeah. and Paul Gill wants to see me as a monk and you as a nun last game of the season oh. Oh. good why am I the nun notice I got left out I know yeah Aaron, Aaron <laughs> you, you the one who's probably would do it <laughs> Aaron Gellis says I'm Abby about monk coming to cross across yeah. to us oh, oh my god he's three two in one three in uh, three yeah. Aaron, well done mate Aaron can't believe that one um, me and the old man both looked at each other at the final score and literally both stuck unable to say anything you got that I'm wrong there that front three joke because <coughs> <laughs> he put font Sorry. he put font three as in fonts, it was a it was a a, a religious joke. I didn't see it. Though. It was fonts, oh yeah, font, fonts, font, 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 font. Oh yeah, yeah. People are pointing out it was font three, not front see. People three. are assuming that we're quite intelligent, and people. Well, Nick was assuming that the audience are quite intelligent <laughs> and asking the intelligent questions, whereas actually they're just desperate to get religious jokes. <laughs> <laughs> the audience just dropped more fifteen. Then no, you said well, that. You know. <laughs> Chris wants to know if you can be the uh, sorry. Paul Gill wants to know if Chris can be the altar boy. Um, yeah. Thank you. And uh, Gregory's <laughs> on from oh, Porth Call. Good evening to you. Good to have you with us. Right. Early goal set was the nerve, said uh, Ian Lomas. <laughs> yeah, somebody it did. And, and like, you, you're right. Ian's right. I think that, that early goal was was, was big. Um, and, and it settled the players down as well. You know, mm. they, they, they'd started very well and, and they were getting themselves forward, but actually getting that goal... You know, you could you could see that it meant a lot getting that first goal, mm. and and actually they went on from there. Yeah, the, the look on Hotter's face, and we mentioned that. Yeah, he was the delighted. Look on his face was he yeah. was just. The thing, and, and again, people people give footballs a, an awful lot of stick. Um, you know, but six million he came for, and and that's not his fault. And people have been banding about the six million figure, but actually, you know, he's a professional footballer. Yeah, yeah. He, he left Brentford to come here. To, to play well and you know he didn't come here for a relegation scrap so actually to be back in the team to be scoring a goal you know and playing a pivotal part in in us winning the game that that would have meant a lot to him hmm. um you know so so full credit to him definitely welcome to my sister pat you're late um that's all i can say about very late to be perfectly honest with you uh they want to crowdfund you um <laughs> and then mrs mrs brown could be the pope as well <laughs> Could you imagine God. turning up in a Pope, pope wagon? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you get a Pope mobile to QPR I'd do it. away. I'd do it. Kev Kelly, here you go back to the football. Which team is going to make a late run to the playoffs, in your opinion? Millwall are in a great form. Great form. Oh, yeah. Are Derby going to yeah, drop out? Yeah. I don't think Derby will drop out. No, no I don't think they will. Um, I think they'll be all right. I think, obviously, Fulham are. Fulham are playing really well. I think Ful- I think it's still between Villa, Fulham and Cardiff for that second spot. At the moment, Cardiff look yeah. like they're going to seal it. Now, if they do, you're looking at Fulham, Villa. I don't see Villa dropping out. Yeah. So Seven points, sorry. So Fulham, yeah. Villa, Derby, and then it's yeah. one of the next lot. And I think it's Middlesbrough, Bristol City... 
Brentford, Millwall. Middlesbrough down there could push for it, you know. Mil- well, Middlesbrough have snuck in. They're, yeah. you know, they're, they're, they're in sixth place at the moment. Um, the, you know, they're on a good run of form, and I think uh, they might be ones to watch in the playoffs. Michael Quinlan says, I think the Monk will inquire about a new midfielder in the summer. Inquire. <laughs> inquire. Inquire, yeah. Uh, yeah, quiet. Yeah, that's quite a good uh-huh. one. Clever, As clever, in singing, clever. yeah, yeah. Clever. <laughs> <coughs> Ray says he thinks the early tackle from Harding fired everybody up. I think you know if you if you're going to come on, you're 21 years old and you want to yeah. put your stamp on a game, do something like that yeah. straight away. Get yellow card for it. And so actually, what? actually, his pace it sort of w- was his detriment to that because actually, I think if that was Jenkinson, the player just the players bombed away. Mm-hmm. You know, it's actually the fact that Harding's quick that he that he just got there in time to actually tackle him. Mm-hmm. You know, where another right back. And, and and Wilson's away, he's gone. So the fact that Harden is so quick actually gave him the chance to make the tackle, and but obviously he was he was he was way too late. Mm. Uh, I don't. It's not a red card. I th- I think the Channel Five program was suggesting whether he was lucky to stay on or not. It's not a red card. It's a, it's a definite yellow, but it's not a red. No. We should have a yellow card as well, actually. Right for it. for things that aren't too red cardish. Everybody will be getting one though. <laughs> Going back to the Adams goal, the uh, Robert yeah. Boyle says the cross ah. from Adams was yeah. divine intervention. Ah, okay, oh, yeah. brilliant, oh, yeah. uh, very good, like very it. good, very good. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. And Pete Taylor, all I care about is Villa losing the playoff final. Oh, for goodness sake, Pete! <laughs> Come on, you're better than that. Come on, you wouldn't want to see a minute though, would you? What the final? Yeah. Have we stayed? I've up? got the red card we've, ready. We've, we've stayed up. We've stayed up. I, I, I think that's the best. <clears throat> That's the best way not to go up. I'd I'd rather Losing, see them yep. get in the playoffs and lose the final than miss out on the playoffs altogether. Mm-hmm. As long as it was a thrashing. No, no, no. Do you know what? No. Even better. I hope they batter whoever they face. <laughs> I hope they get to the. As long as we stay up, because I don't care <laughs> what happens if we go down. As long as we stay up, I hope they get to the playoff final. I hope they absolutely muller whoever they play and can't score and John Terry scores on last minute on <laughs> last goal. Last minute on goal. Andy Smith. And that, <laughs> that, that is the <laughs> sweetest <laughs> way that they don't go up. Andy Smith says, who cares about the V? Well, we're not. We're just having a bit of a laugh, mate. Just, we're just having a bit of a laugh. Give us two, give us two minutes to indulge in that thought of yeah. John Terry yeah. crying at Wembley. Jane Tarbuck, the monk will exercise all the demons. Oh, very good. Oh, brilliant, 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 brilliant. Kenny Kelly's asked this a couple of times regarding um, uh, whether we think monk will be here next season if we um, stay Have up. we stayed up? Yeah. If we stay up, then yeah, he's got a three, three and a half year contract. He's got, he? he's got a job to do, yeah. If we stay up, what if he, we get relegated? Do we want to talk about that? Do we want I'd to rather really not talk think about, about it? Yeah. Yeah. No, but we've got to be realistic. In my initial thought, my gut reaction is he won't be here if we go down. Mm-hmm. Mm. But that's that's you know that's and they get, like Nick said that's something we think about if the worst happens. Yeah. But as it stands, he's our manager and yeah. we want to get out of it. Going back to the previous conversation, Paul Gill said he'd love the vial to lose at home in the second leg after being 3 0 up to a last minute home goal of John Terry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bleepy Razy wants to have uh, new pies. It's the undoy, undoy pie with nothing in it. <laughs> <laughs> very, oh, very we've started good. the Just new trend. This could a, be a good a massive one. Massive disappointment. <laughs> this could be a good one. Yeah. Give us your pies. Andy Lloyd would want them to uh, lose yeah, in the semi final. So, yeah, go on then. Yeah. For the last 10 minutes, if you could. Blues players, past and present. If a player was to, be, if a pie was to be named after a player, what, what describe that pie? <laughs> yeah. So you, you've got the, you've got the endoy pie. It costs quite a fair bit of money. Uh, the chicken, it, the chicken uh, endoy pie. Yeah, the yeah, chicken yeah, endoy yeah. pie. Yeah, it costs cost nice. quite a bit of money, but actually, you bought it, and after one bite, you thought, "What on earth is this doing in my hand? Why on earth have I bought this?" <laughs> Either that or anything to do with football or to do with pies. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Ten yeah. minutes. Go. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see how clever you really are. Andy yeah. Smith. Andy Smith. That's, yeah, that's testing. That is. So it's yeah. like you got to, you got to, yeah. got to put yourself about a bit there. Because Villa fans could probably do it. I'm just like that. Oh. Just, just wind up a bit. Let's get the chances. Could probably yeah. do what? Yeah. Come up with the. Come up with some ideas. He's basically. He's basically. Go. He's, you know, he's poking the Blues fans with yeah, a big stick there, right. saying that Villa fans could probably do it. Yeah. And let's yeah. see if you can. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. It's gone quite. Yes or no? Your predictions are yes. I've um, I've got us yes. Oh, yes. they're coming in. They're coming in. 
you want the first one? Yeah, you go for it, mate. I think we should have a jot, jot of pie. Uh, starts off really poor, but gets better as you get in. Oh, yeah. Well, well done, yeah. My, oh. my, my pie would just be hotter than the other one. <laughs> Shh. Can you see? Can you really? Yeah. Come on. I'm trying oh, my best no, here. Yeah, sorry. That's definitely the best here. <laughs> <laughs> The Kevin Langley pie could be worse than the Nien Doi pie. Yeah. <laughs> Monkfish pie. Yeah. Yeah. Can yeah, doy pie cool. would never be able to pass through you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. That, that is clever. That is yeah. Jack, clever. Jack store a pie filled with hot air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good. Very, very good. good. Very good. Uh, That's good. the spirit. Who yeah. was that one? The Jack store one. Yeah, Aaron see. Drew. Yeah, good one, Aaron. Yeah. Anthony, well, more like Aaron. Anthony Lloyd and Doy will score the goal to keep us up. That would just make you imagine? Could you imagine, could you yeah. imagine the could you imagine, grief imagine, I could, I, I, could I imagine and then just I have to come in on that Fulham game and <laughs> could I just him to the hill could I just for his 30 yard <laughs> worldie to keep us up? <laughs> could I just imagine how horrible your <laughs> summer would be <laughs> for the whole summer? I would oh, just be in stock, stock tail pie. That's a good one. Yeah, here's, one yeah. here's one you've really got to think about. Okay. Nick, will, Nick will probably get this more than yeah. Cheese and pot otto pie. Oh, pot otto. Otto, Ricky okay. otto. Oh, Ricky. Done, yeah, David. Very good. Butler, you're a good one. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Hotter pie, it's a whole hotter pie. That's the best I've got from Shane. <laughs> we need a church bell gone, Chris. Can we get one yeah, for Yeah, we need week? a gothic bell dun, type dun, ring. Dun, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, we'll get one of those <laughs> next week. Yeah. George Monk pie. The Stockdale pie, big and very filling from Kevin mm. Kelly. Yeah, no yeah. Blake. Pie, pure raw beef. <laughs> Carlos Costa Pie, what a waste of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They already sell Jeff Horsfield pies at Tesco's. Uh, a Nikolai Brock yeah. Madsen pie, cheese, and broccoli. Can you see the David Stockdale pie? Yeah. Everything goes through it. Yeah. Stockdale's eating them all. Kev, Kev, he didn't have a lot to do, did he, on Saturday? That's no, no, no. You know, no. He, he, he come for a, a couple of corners, which. Which he did well, one, one, one good punch away, and and, and climbed hard of another one. But he didn't have many shots to save, mates. Uh, shots to save. So. Snake and Ronan Howell pie. Oh. <laughs> That's very clever. That's very clever. Uh, Balti monk pie. Went for a, a drink with Andoy every time he bought me a drink. He gave it to me. I can't go. My <laughs> Just kept giving, just kept giving them all to Hall fans in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that, Paul. Uh, yeah. You might just have won comment of the night <laughs> there, Paul. Checking, Stole it late on. We've got, we got a, a check and kidney pie voted in by the Blues Crust. <laughs> the Blues <laughs> Crust. Oh, yeah. dear me. Oh, dear me. A duke pie tastes good Can we give minutes. a cap to Paul? I like that comment. Which, Which one is that? The, uh, the went for a drink, he went, went for a drink and he kept giving it to, kept it's giving a, his drinks to someone else. It's a clever one. I think he yeah. should get a oh, yeah, yeah, get yeah. Uh, contact that. Chris Brown. Message me for the, the cap. Shop, we'll get you Message a Message me for yeah. a cap, mate. I've like only got another 2,000 to get I'm going to be laughing for the 62 mile journey home. Oh, dear. Oh, golly, golly, golly. Some of these are just too clever. I don't understand a lot of them. I'm not clever enough yet. Is it worth doing predictions for the Ipswich game yet, or should we leave up? Oh, might as well do it next week, might we? Yeah. 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 Let's have your predictions for the big one. England v Holland in Amsterdam on Friday night. (laughs) Friendly. England versus who? Holland. The international game. International friendly. On a Friday night. Friday night. Can you keep snoring? In Amsterdam. In Amsterdam. In Amsterdam. Predictions. Predictions. <laughs> England versus Holland. <laughs> Come on. This is important yeah. preparation for the World Cup. Oh dear. And Adam's ale pie. Adam's ale. God does rotten veggie pie. Have you seen the Karen Bandy pie? <laughs> I can't read that one. I can't read it. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Can I not read it? No. Oh, no, 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 it's gone, no, that has. No, 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 not reading that out. Well, who said that? Steve Plant. Steve Plant. Shocker, that is Steve. That is that is a rumour that it's, has been unconconfirmed. <laughs> no, he actually confirmed it. Oh, right. Unofficially. Okay. To a West Harding pie takes your legs away. 